bit of work today, YouTube. You can tell because of my lack of angle grinder. More money to spend, whoop de doo I'm running a little bit low on cash right now. Um, yeah, so, I don't know if any of you might remember this. Let's see, I think that's probably big enough. But if you do, then you're a pretty loyal subscriber. If you don't, that is suspected. I'm just putting it in the vise so you can see it better without me having to hold it up. Alright. This is a, uh, it was a old steam cleaner slash carpet cleaner. And uh, I like the motor. It was that really loud motor that was seized when we got it. But it, uh, the bearings squeal, scream. But uh, it, uh, I think I'm going to have a use. It's overwhelmingly powerful. Because it used to have a pulley on this side, and this side had the impeller mechanism, which I don't actually know. Here it is, it's all here. Tried to keep it together so if I could always put it on another motor if I ever needed a nice vacuum cleaner motor and everything. It's all in there. But basically, what this I did is it had this backing plate, and I have that plastic backing plate, and that's the one that actually fits the impeller. This was another one it just mounted to, and it was made of this odd plastic. It, it's really itchy, and it uh, came apart in um, dust. It was not like chunks. It was like fine, fine dust. It's all this, and it also had a weird smell. Uh, probably, probably toxic. That's um, that's always comforting, eh? Um, anyway, but I got what this is going to hopefully be a big fat probably eight inch um chop saw that's what they're called and i don't know if you've ever seen it but it's basically you got a big spinning disc you know just like a die grinder disc but it's you know size of a bicycle tire a small bike like a 12 inch kids bike or whatever you have a handle and you just pull it down and chop the metal in half and there's usually a big chunk of angle iron like bigger than that and then you set your piece in it like a it's always tubing or angle iron you set it up and the blade just drops down and cleaves it clean in half so that's what I wanted to build I haven't abandoned the hacksaw yet I just I'm supposed to start practicing with my welder soon and once I get decent I'll just start welding it together but I kind of have the basic gist of things down but I actually kind of uh, I started a base for both the saws this is what took up so much of my disc. I had this old electric scooter uh, base. I'm never going to use it again. It sat down there for a very long time. And I cut all the crap off of it. It had two arms for the rear wheel. It had the head tube, which I cut off. And that's actually a good piece. I'm going to probably use it building a bike. Um, but I had a piece up here that came up to about that far and also the kickstand and everything but I ground all that off and uh, basically the idea is with that's where that piece of angle line went with um, this motor I'm going to make and it's reverse thread nut by the way I'm going to make somehow the big disc fit onto this because see it's reverse thread so when the motor spins it Titans. So I have to make, I think that I want to say the hole in them is about half inch. So maybe I can get a good welder to tack a um, big washer to the shaft. Or I can do something. A die grinder disc would fit perfectly, but I don't know. I have to go look at the disc. I don't have one with me, but I know where they sell them. But basically the idea of this is, because this is a crazy strong motor, spins crazy RPMs too. It's um, an Ampex, uh, made in Ohio, um, 120 volts, 60 hertz. Um, pretty, pretty nice little motor, but I'm actually going to start it up here for a second, so I better take this off, because it will spin it off. 
Um, but anyway, the idea of this is I'm going to have I have these mounts, and these are actually the legs off the back. And I'm going to somehow make it where this mechanism, probably put a bar in between, and then put a nut. And basically the whole thing is going to be mounted like this, and I can just drop it down. Um, um, took this piece of metal, and this is when my disc died, as you can see. But I'm going to mount it like this more or less you know I'll have it backed up where this stopper goes up to the edge and have the pivoting mechanism mounted back here because if you can see this thing has length to it and it has to go back so it can then cut right here but then the, the blade itself will reside right in here and I'll actually end up cutting a slit in the frame so I can drop it down and then I'll have the piece of angle iron up in here so I can rest my part obviously this little wall won't be here and uh, cleave it off but I thought what can I do with the other end I already know that out of this I want to have a lamp like a you know flexible head lamp so I can bend it wherever I need the light but I thought the other thing it would be nice to do here is I have this power hacksaw what if I could somehow make it using the same vise because the vise would be in the middle that I could also have the receiving end of the power hacksaw over here and then have the big disc and this because all the dirty dirty workbench all the mechanism for this guy is going to sit on this side because it's how it's pointed see and everything for the other thing can be down below but uh, yeah just an idea I think that this is easier than a power hacksaw I still want to make a power hacksaw but this is just easier but why don't I um, fire up that motor for you because it is a, it is a big big old boss daddy of a motor pretty pretty darn scary not gonna lie so the cord's unplugged I'll show you my amazing nice cord but I am gonna have to set down the camera actually let me straighten out the wire a bit don't try this at home kids you'll Shock yourself. Mm. I'm not doing too good. It's late at night and I'm frustrated with algebra. Put it on this side. Yeah, there we go. And get the, uh, I know that you can't see too much. I'm just trying to make it work for you, YouTube. Trying to make it work. That, that ought to do. That ought to do fine. Alright. Safety. Safety first. So, you know, I obviously am wearing my safety goggles that are on the rack. And it's in the vise uh, decently enough. It's got my safety cord. No, no chance of arcs. And um, I think I'll plug it up. Quite the, uh, quite the little motor, I must say. Certainly, um, not your quietest motor. But, um, we'll see. And if anyone has an idea about how those big, I'm talking the, the foot to the 8 inch chop saw blades, how they mount exactly on there. I know it's going to be a screw mechanism, but what kind of receiver it has. If it has a receiver like a angle iron or something if you could let me know that'd be awesome so uh yeah just screwing around in the old garage i guess yep uh, this thing is a monster though it really is nothing like the engine or the <laughs> keep saying engines the motors that ozzy has but anyway there you go youtube